Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm here with a fun haul video from a recent trip to an estate sale. This was a private estate sale at that. So, it wasn't even put together yet. The person that runs the estate sale gave me a call and I was able to walk through it alone without any other shoppers, so it was spectacular. I guess I'm now on her buyer list, so whenever she has estate sales in the future, I will get a call and she'll schedule me. So because of that, and because I was so early, there were no prices on anything. She hadn't, but she hadn't been able to do that part yet. So everything was pretty much organized, but not priced. So that made it a little bit more tricky whenever I was deciding on some things. So I hope I got some great things here. I mean, I think I did. So let's just start off with one of my very favorite things that I didn't even show in the video, the shop along video from yesterday. I think this is gonna do really well right here. Look at that. So it's like speckled, as you can see right here. It has like the little green speckles all over it with the gold, like the 22 or 24 karat gold. Look at the feet on that. And it is marked on the bottom, number one USA. But the texture on here alone, it has like, oh, it's just so cool. And the inside is also the same. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have been getting increasing, I've increased, I'm increasingly getting more people say that they didn't, they missed out on something that I had listed, like it sold too quick or whatever. So um, what I'm gonna do is actually switch to auction format. I think that'll be the most fairest way to keep things on a little bit longer so that they don't immediately sell out. So the items, that said, the items in this haul video will all be up for auction, but some of them won't be. Some of them I'm gonna hold back and sell a different way. Whether that's my upcoming Friday night uh, live sale, I'm gonna do a couple more of those, so we'll see. Uh, so some of those things that aren't put online will probably go in the live sale that I do, which isn't an auction. I just wanna let you know it's, I set the prices on that and then people comment if they wanna buy it right on the live sale. If, you, if you've never watched one of those, they're really fun though. I've watched quite a few and this would be my third on Friday, this Friday, but it's all online right now on eBay, link in the description. Now I think I already actually have a buyer for this. I'm, con I'm talking with them right now they wanted to buy the two squirrel items that I picked up. This is one of them. So it's like a painted, it's a crafted thing. This is from 1981, but the buyer collects squirrels and I've sold quite a few squirrels to, to her. So yeah, we've got this one and speaking of squirrels, so that's that one. And then the other one was this little guy or gal. It's a souvenir squirrel from Olney, Illinois. Now, we are in Trenton, Illinois, Southern Illinois. So, do you know where Olney is? Olney is uh, out in Eastern uh, Illinois. Eastern Illinois, he says. Okay, so this is a really cute one. I think she's gonna buy that one as well. So, um, yeah, she commented on a on my shop along video. That's not focusing. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm willing to sell it that way. But so, those are the squirrels. Now, here's another cool vase. This one is just called, uh, I can't see, the, there's an embossing on it. O-X, oh no, that's a number. I'm not sure, but it's that 22 karat gold, again. It's a gold leafing applied to that vase. Very mid-century looking. We got the handles. And there's florals all over it, as you can see. It's really pretty. Oh, in case you're wondering how much I paid for everything, I mentioned it in the at the tail end of the shop along video, but it was like $74 for everything. And depending on what I show you, you may think that's either, well, you will probably think that's too much. But uh, I wasn't going to haggle with her because I want to develop a sort of a relationship that we're able to continue to do things like this. So where she'll be comfortable to call me ahead of these sales and not feel like she's like, I'm gonna nickel and dime her, you know, because the sale actually hasn't even began. So it's not, I'm, I don't have that same purchasing power as if I was on the last day of an estate sale and they were just doing like half off or something like that. Now let me show you these two really cool tea towels. I haven't been able to buy a cool tea towel in a while. And these look like they're in just about brilliant shape with no issues. 
So they are, they have like this little guy here. He has his hat on. They're very like Arizona looking, I would imagine. I just, they're, they're cool. Look at the colors, very vibrant, these tea towels. And I have a set of two. So that one, that one and this one here. These will be going on eBay, I think. Yeah, definitely, they're awesome. And I do know that she charged me a dollar each on those. So that was a great price for the tea towels. As far as tea towels go, these are in good shape, really good shape. Uh, I did get some Fire King bowls. These um, are in their opal glass and there's three of them. They're like little, uh, this one is Anchor Hawking and the other two are, no, that's Anchor Hawking too. Okay, so there's one Technical Fire King and two Anchor Hawking, but they all match. They're that white kind of platinite color, opal glass, and uh, they're oven proof. This one's also, the anchor ones are also oven proof. Um, I think I paid a dollar per bowl on these as well. So that was not a bad price. And I think I'm gonna put those on eBay up for auction. I think that's gonna be another one of those types of things. They're great cereal bowls, very durable. They're microwavable, of course. They're oven proof, so that's, those are nice. Then, okay, I did get these two right here. Now the figurines, I'm trying to recall what she charged on those. I think they were between two and three dollars each, depending on like which group she was adding up at the time. Uh, so at the worst, worst case scenario, I paid three dollars and three dollars, which is a bad deal because they both have chips and I did not know that at the time. I try so hard in the moment to see, but I don't know if I'm like doing it on purpose, like my brain's like actively trying to make the situation better. I know that sounds warped, but like, I don't, I, now I see the chip and it's like right there. So let me show you. These are very cute, they're ceramic, but in my defense, they're not that noticeable. So I look to the flowers first. I look for like all the, the, the most delicate areas and I was fixated on that and there was no issues. The leaves at glance look fine, except this one here is broke, broken off. So on this one, the tip of this leaf is broken. No issues up top here, the gold's in great shape. There's just so many areas that something, something could go wrong on something like this. Now the other one, there's actually two petals broken off, which I can't believe I missed. So here we are again. This one, all the green leaves are fine, but two petals are broken off. I'm sure you can find them. I couldn't at the, at the moment, or at the time that I bought them. But anyways, I will probably sell these together. I think they're great either way, and definitely you don't, you won't notice the issue if you're, you know, you just have them in the display. I think they look great. So, I'll sell those together up for auction and see how that goes. I did get a longa burger basket right here. This one is from 1989, my birth year. So that's that's older, it's an older one. Yeah, it's a, a hand woven basket. I've been recently starting to pick these up. Longer burger went out of business uh, not too long ago and I kind of, I kind of like them. I kind of like the baskets. I have a couple behind me with uh, one with the ceramic insert and one with the cloth insert. This is, there's nothing in this one, but it's a nice size. You could put that on a table. Actually, you could put this in the middle of the table and put some like mason jars and put your silverware in it. Or, I mean, there's lots of uses for one like this. So I decided to pick that one up. And I think I paid, it was either three or $4 for the basket. Um, Let's go to these. I bought some aluminum tumblers. I have bought and sold these uh, many times at this point. This one, these are made by West Bend and many different companies made them. In this case, West Bend. West Bend also made, uh, well, they made like some utensils and things that I've, I've seen a lot, but they've also made, the, my words, the penguin hot cold servers they have the chrome and they have the bake light handles i bought and sold many of those too that's the same company so these are cool because they're ribbed if you look on the side of these it's like yeah 
Very cool. I love that. The colors are in pretty nice shape. I mean, there is wear, which is normal. And the wear on something like this is usually like the color sort of gets faded a little or minor scratches. Usually you'll see lots of scratches on the inside from SOS scour pads and things like that. These are not terrible, actually. But either way, these will be going on eBay if they're not there already. I did get this. This is awesome. And I've been told in the comments from yesterday's video that this is iron wood. So it's a very strong, uh, dense wood. And you can see here it's an owl. But look, it's really pretty. Iron wood, from what I can what I can see when I whenever I researched it, it's just a general term that is for all all sturdy hard woods, iron wood. It's not like that's an iron wood tree or something. That's what I found on 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 iron wood. Um, it it kind of reminded me of rosewood. Uh, it does, it's not rosewood because the color is not there, but that's an endangered tree. Those things go for good money if you're on the lookout for rosewood items, but. It's, I think it's illegal to sell. Well, no, it's it's not. It's illegal to create new ones, I believe. But if you have something that's older than a certain age, then it's legal to buy and sell it. There's like a whole website on that. I, I can't remember. It's like a organization that polices the endangered things, not just trees. And it's like botanicals and all this stuff. And I also picked up the Roadrunner. It's I think it's made out of the same wood. It's a cute road. The beak's fine. Um, really pretty. These do. These have done well for me in the past. They're very mid-century, very cool looking. So I, I, I bought that. And the last wood item is this carved bear. And it has lots of texture to it. That's not focusing. There we go. Yeah, it's really pretty. Lots of texture. No issues on that one. I also, I had to buy this bird. So this is made by Kreiss & Co, K-R-E-I-S-S. -S. This is a Quetzal, I think that's the brand, or the bird, Q-U-E-T-Z-A-L, Quetzal. So this is made by, like I said, K-R-E-I-S-S, -S, Kreiss & Co. They're really known for, this is not focusing. They're really known for their, if you ever see their figurines, Stella? <laughs> that dog, I'll tell you. Man, oh man. Stella? Stop. Their figurines are most often, they have like little rhinestones over the eyes. Th this type right here, they it's not that kind. It was like focusing down here. Why don't you just pet her? Hi. So. I'll send her outside. So they made a lot of novelty products, things like joke, joke items, like funny, kind of weird things if you ever look them up but this is just a bird so i mean i had to buy it because it is of that company and i i like their other items so i picked that up i also got this cat so a few people mentioned that they liked this cat it lights up and the eyes would i imagine light up too so you put a light up in there which i have it kind of sets in that harness i believe yeah so i, I bought that i thought it was kind of fun and I, uh, no, no chips or cracks on that one. So then I have lots of like little figurines I'm gonna blow through right now and show you. This one here has a luster wear finish on it. It's of a turkey, I guess it is, with a little bird on top. Very unique. It is, I, I'm, I don't see the word made in Japan on it, but that's what it is. It's a made in Japan item, probably from the 30s. Very cute for this little guy right there. Then I picked up, now here's where I need a little assistance because this is something I'm not, maybe I'm overthinking it, but we've got two items with holes on top. This one has a hole right on top there. 
and I don't know what it, the, the, it's for. Maybe it's because it's this and they blow stuff out of it, but okay, that's, that's fine. But then this one here has a hole in the, the top of it. So are they useful for anything? But let me show you, there's a hole down here, so it's not like they needed a hole to keep it from exploding in the kiln. So what is wrong with this focus? It's the tracker is like going all the wrong places. <laughs> okay, track right right there. Oh come on. Right here. Hello. Hello. Okay, finally. <laughs> so this is actually it looks hand painted, but it's a mixture. It's a transfer, then they went in afterwards and dabbed some paint on to give it some texture and highlight. But uh yeah, it's have a it's have a ceramic bird. All right, so now the next thing up is actually a little Mexico turtle. It's in the style of those Tanala bird items, but this is a turtle, so I had to pick it up because I don't ever see the turtles. So we've got the turtle, that'll go up. And then I also got the Smokey the Bear figurine. So I couldn't pass that one up, Smokey the Bear. It is marked on the bottom Norcrest, which is sort of interesting that Norcrest did that. I, I tend to like that brand of ceramic. And then I have three Halloween items. I'm gonna sell them as a set. Now, unfortunately, this is also Norcrest, but the bad part is it has a chip on it. And I think I realized that in the moment, but it's okay. <laughs> so made by Norcrest, this has a chip on the back. It could be colored in to disguise that but it's super cool. And it does have the sticker on the bottom here. This is an older piece, probably from the 60s or 70s. But then we also have the two witches. These are identical. And you're very mobile today. I'm moving around. I know, with the dog in you, I'm like. Uh, this is Originals by Erica Japan. So we have the two right here. Okay, not focusing. What's my life? Let's focus on the witch. We've got two of these, they're identical. And they, like I said, they are originals by Erica. I'll sell those together with the, with the, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna sell this together with the witch. No, with the, with the ghost. That's how that'll go. Just a few more figurines and then we're done. Oh, yay. What are you eating, Stell? What are you doing? Just sit down. No, not over here. So I have three bird figurines. Now, this one here is Andrea by Sadik. I always used to say Sadiq, and now when I say Sadik, it sounds weird. Sadik. Sadiq. Sadiq sounds better. Andrea by Sadiq. Bluebird. It's a bluebird. Figurine. So I, I picked that up. Okay. This one I might sell separately as opposed to these other two that are made by the same company. Although they were in a trio on the shelf. So I have to think about that one. This is a Kingfish, Kingfisher. And this is an Oriole. But these are made by... You see something, something Japan. Not seen that mark before. But we have that one. It sort of has like this distressed, this uh, like aged. Okay, would you focus? <laughs> Can you? Ow, my hand is cramping. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Okay. Okay, there we go. So. There's the bird. And then the other one is the king, is the Oriole. Right there. It's, there we go, it's focused. Okay, cool. Those two. This little basket figurine, I thought it was adorable and there are no chips or cracks except for one maybe. One maybe. And in the moment I saw none, but now I see one maybe. Okay, so we have the little dog in the basket set right there. No issues on the front at all, as you can see. I'll turn it around. And the one maybe that I see is right here on the tip of that flower. Maybe, I don't know, I can't tell. So 
Like, I don't know if that's just how the, the flower is shaped. So yes, it's a bisque ceramic made by George. It says Georgian fine bone china. And it was gifted to someone in 822 of 1976. So that's cool. Just a couple little things. We have a horse uh, pair. It's Mark Japan. I don't usually get to see fun horse figurines, so I bought that one, and it's of a nice size too, like that. And then the other two, and this is it, I think. Yeah, okay. The other two are right here. They are deer, and they're also marked Japan, and they're identical. So we've got the pair of those. Like I said, I think I paid, two, I think I paid three dollars on each of those which is slightly too much, but uh, it's okay. I think I'm gonna do really well with the footed bowl though. That one is really unique and this wood owl and the cups and the kitten and the turkey thing. So there's there's some pretty cool items here. I think I'm gonna do really well on um, selling them. So with that, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.